Come on, peeps. Good boy. Welcome back to JJW Outdoors. Justin here. Today we are going to be building a little small secret shelter. Hope you enjoy. Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel because I think you're going to like this video. Now we're going to climb to the top of this hill and there might be a spot where we can have a little shelter alongside this little hidden trail back here. As you can see, we have the river running right through here, which is awesome. So we can easily come down this hill, get some water, plus we're not camping down the bottom of a hill, so water doesn't run on us in case you gotta spend the night in this shelter. We're gonna show you how to build a very fast, easy shelter that you can just spend the night in, and no one will be able to see you. Undercover shelter, coming your way. Let's do it. All right, so right over here we have our area where we're gonna do it. Hung my bag up there. Hung my satchel up there. We have the old pizza boys with us. And then dad and I are gonna build a shelter right in this area. Now the trail is right there. So we kinda have to build it low to the ground and a little secret. So we're gonna come check on the shelter to see if anybody has disturbed the area or found our shelter. Let me know if you built a secret shelter and the way you guys did it, because I'm curious. I would love to know if you guys did it in the comments below. So we're gonna start off by clearing the area really quick, you know, getting some of these down stuff picked up a little bit. Throw it off to the side, kind of build a little wall so it kind of looks natural type of thing. Let's do it. So for this little build today, we are mainly going to be using our Baco Laplander. Now in the description below, I have left a link on Amazon where you can go buy this Baco Laplander for a actually pretty cheap price for one of these. Um, price did go up, it's around $25, $30 right now, but for the price, it's actually really good for how much work you get out of this saw. This saw has been bomb proof for me for a couple years now. So we're going to take this log here we're actually going to build our shelter so it's about yay high let's do it So our stick there has a Y here, which has a long stick that goes that away. Right, Pierre? Love you. So now that a one side done like this, now we're gonna find another one. We're gonna do the same thing to this side so it's roughly even so you can get underneath it but still not high enough so people can see it very good let's get another one Here we go, just what I'm looking for. Check that out. We got a Y here and a Y here, so we can technically use both of them. All 
I'm telling you, these Baca Laplanders are worth it. That wood was all frozen on there, so he's cutting through ice as well. All righty, so now it's short enough to where all we have to do is push it right down. Go a little bit more. Like that. So now that our support is done, now we got to find a bunch of little ones to line up on the back. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So we're probably going to take this one here for some of them. And we're going to line them up on the top log here to the bottom log there. We're going to make like a little wall right here so we can sneak underneath here. That is about as long as we need for ours. And about as thick as I want to go too. So now that we got our measurement, we know that this is the size we need. Now we can just choose on our down stick. So this here is a little rotten up here. So I'm just gonna cut this off. Oh, that part's rotten too. So I guess I'm gonna start from here going down. So right there. We want to go all the way down to this knot right here. There we go. You ready for this? You ready for this, bitch boys? Who's more, buddy? So now that our back wall is done, now we're just gonna pile a bunch of debris on it and just get it loaded up. So it's gonna look like a big pile of down mess. That's what we're going with. So first we have it looking nice and pretty, and now we're just gonna get a whole bunch of these little sticks and whatnot, we're just gonna toss it on top. All this little stuff. 
Right just like that, right peeps? Peeps, where is it, buddy? We are also going to put some sticks on the edges. Going straight down, going all the way down to kind of block the edge off on both sides. So there you have it. That is how you make a really cool hidden shelter. Now, if you want to go above and beyond and make it waterproof, this is what you need to do. In Michigan, in our area, we have pine or spruce boughs. That's what you can use. All that alive stuff that's on the trees over there, all that green, you can cut it, lay it on top of that and it will insulate it and it will make it waterproof especially when it snows then the snow will stay on top of it and it'll look really really cool now over this way we have some down trees with a bunch of leaves on it you can take all those leaves bring it on over there and there you go now you have made more insulation with those leaves as well that is two ways to do it now let's head this way and take a look at the shelter So as you can see, we brought over a lot of big stuff. Ooh, peekaboo. So a lot of that big stuff we set around it and around the area. So it makes it look more presentable and hidden. It's pretty cool. Now you can see, you get all this stuff out of here, lay down your tarp. Now we have a really cool wall beach shelter that we can sleep down right underneath here like this all you need to do is just bring a little tarp with you and check that out pretty cool plus i can tuck down way inside of here too no one will even know i'm here so that is a pretty neat shelter that you can make in roughly a couple hours of your time now if you get more people out here obviously the time gets cut in half or quarter or whatever how many people you got out here so all you saw for these materials we used our saws. Now that was a Baca lap liner. You can get that in the description below to go right to, it'll take you right to Amazon. You can purchase that saw. Plus we use this today. I'm gonna find this on Amazon and link this down below for you as well. It just won't have Fowler on there. Fowler is a YouTuber that I follow that I bought this from. Love this cold steel shovel. This is bomb proof. You need to get yourself one of these. But this is what we use today and the saws is what we use today and that was it for this whole project. So a couple hour project, get out, get in the woods and do it yourself. Pips. So the nice part about this area is you got the river right there, you know you can get your water and whatnot. Plus, not too far away is our shelter, which is right over here. Which is also really nice. So then we can just hurry up, get out of our shelter, go get our water, get right back in the shelter. No one even know we're there, which is nice. Um, 
I like 40th. This is a 40th again. Um, we're back on 40th, building a little shelter. Um, I like this little area. You guys need to come out here and see if we can find our shelter. Neat little side trail that comes over here. Lots of down stuff though, and the water's just beautiful. Right, Pizza Boys? Just gorgeous out here today. So glad we can get out in the woods, build a shelter. Spend a couple hours here out in the woods. I'm telling you, you need to get out in the woods and build a shelter for yourself. I think you're gonna like it. Get out there and do it, try it. Like I said earlier, if you have built a shelter and you have like pictures and whatnot of it, please leave it in the comments below. I would love to see it. This stuff right here is what we need to put on the shelter. That will make that shelter look real good. Come on, buddy, old pal. We're going this way. Go subscribe to JJW Outdoors. See you on the next one.